All right, so this particular back, where we're going to do, we're going to be backing up from the street, but it is not very busy, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So, why I show you these videos is mainly for the setup. All right, how important the setup is. Now, I'm going to be driving it close to this truck, and what is going through my mind? Why am I not hitting stuff, and why am I not worried about certain situations? What is the most important thing to be looking at? So. All right. Right now, my main one. Of my, my right now, my main concern is this particular truck because I have to be nice and close to it because I'm going to be using this area here. When I'm stopped, I'm going to be uh, angled onto the, on the road. And once I'm on the road, my first thing I need to do is make sure that I can back up really quickly before the cars come. All right. It's one of these obstacles that we're going to have to deal with. Anywho, so right now I'm straightening up the tractor and trailer. All right, and once I am straight, I'm going to be driving in a straight line and acknowledging the distance I am from the from the vehicle. Okay. So now I'm able to look in both mirrors. Okay. So now we are on three feet away here, and all right. Another concern we have are the doors. All right. If you're ever going to be backing up next to stuff, all right, you re you really got to be worrying about the doors. All right. Are they secured? All right. Because yes. All right, they could open up. All right, so my, my, a real big concern is making sure that the doors will remain attached to the side of the trailer. Anywho, so now we got to wait for the traffic to clear. I'm going to uh, angle myself over here just so I can take a peek. All right, kind of lean across there. There we go. All right, nothing coming. So I'm going to set myself up pretty quickly. All right, and remember now, all right, so just, just to clarify, we are backing up into this space over here. It's going to be right next to this trailer, next to a blue pole. And uh, in, a, in a few seconds then, all right, we're going to be seeing it. Well, I've got a camera placed back there in, on the dock, so we'll be able to see. So I get my steers pointing straight. Now, I may turn them, I may not, but the first thing I'm going to do is always get my steers pointing straight and then see what happens after that. So we're just doing, doing control back. Sorry, I don't have my steers. I don't have a camera pointing on the actual tires itself. This, this video was done before I set up that camera. But anywho, it's a bit of a balancing act. Now, see how I maintain that angle? Because I'm not ready to do a straight back yet. All right. So, of course, my one of my main concerns is making sure I don't hit this pole. I know that I'm not going. I'm no. I'm, I'm nowhere near the other trailer yet. Sorry, the other truck yet. All right, let's go ahead and straighten ourselves up. All right, and then I'm going to stop for a second because I just want to have a good. All right, so here's I'm off the road. Now I see the blue pole here. All right, and I can see everything. I already looked. I already looked into the space to make sure there was nothing there. Well, as because there's a camera there because I actually stopped first, <laughs> placed the camera there. So there's my evidence. Anywho, all right. So I'm right now. I'm somewhat pointing towards the edge. All right. So I uh, first thing I'm going to do. I want to. I want to move the front of the trailer to the right. All right. So I'm going, to turn, I'm going to turn the steering wheel to the right, all right, which is going to angle, which is going to bring the back of the trailer away from it. All right, remember, we're controlling the front of the trailer, to, so the back of the trailer will then react to it. All right, let's take a look at it now. So we're going to chase it. So turn the steering wheel to the left. And now, because my main concern in making sure is that we're not going to be hitting this blue pole. These blue poles have uh, destroyed many a trailer door. Not, not well, Probably my company, but a lot of other companies too, because this is the this is where I am at the most aware. All right, so nice slow back. So again, my biggest concern is that blue pole. So once I get back there, I may I'm gonna I may think to myself, do I need to readjust? All right. Now this particular dock, just to clarify, the closer I I really want to get close to this blue pole. I, do, I don't need it, need to, but if I'm going to have somebody parking next to me, I want to give him a lot more space. A lot of people, when they back up, they back, they park too too far away from this pole, and then when it's time for somebody to uh, go into this particular space, they can't do it. They just can't do it, or they end up hitting the, hitting their trailer off this blue pole. Anyway, that's just what my thought is right now. So I'm okay. So I'm going to back up just a little bit more, and then I'm actually going to move it over a couple of inches to the right towards the pole. Again, my biggest concern is the blue pole. All right, let's. Uh, so I'm going to turn a little bit to the right. All right, just a little bit. Just a disconcerting. Now, just watching the, the trailer the whole time. Now I need to 
get my trailer pointing towards the other direction. And of course, now we're going to do a little bit of a straight back. Stuck my head out the window just to clarify because I didn't want to make a mistake, making sure my steers weren't pointing in the wrong direction. Again, watching it very much. And there we go. Up nice and slowly. Again, I'm used to these docks, so pretty much know. And as well, I know that this trailer is the same length as my trailer. So I'm watching the, hit the bottom part here, and I'm watching my trailer here. And now I know it's coming really close to it. And there we go. We just hit the dock, and we are good. And, of course, I'm not going to show you the whole sliding the axles thing. But that is the end of that video, and I hope you are somewhat educated. And if you've... Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with all everybody you may believe would benefit from it. And uh, all right, until the next video. Good luck. Bye bye.